I imagine another voice <laughs> saying, see, he ain't no soldier. He's riding on a donkey. Listen to y'all stories. <laughs> he's, he's some kind of exorcist. Driving out evil spirits or something. He's a magician. Doing tricks with little boys' lunches. He's another holy man. A shaman. A, another rabbi or preacher. Some religious fellow. He's not a soldier. He's riding on a donkey, not a horse. What's he going to do for me? First of all, I sure ain't religious. I can tell you that right now. Y'all can all celebrate all you want to, but this is a bunch of nonsense. I'm the biggest heathen standing here today. What is some religious preacher going to want to have to do with me? I'm glad it works for y'all. I'm excited for y'all, but I know better. I've turned my back on the faith a long time ago. I don't need to have nothing to do with him. Some re- if he ain't going to do nothing, he ain't going to want nothing to do with me. A sinner. A heathen. I don't go to church. I don't pay my tithes. I don't read the Bible. None of that mess. He will have nothing to do with me. Can you just imagine? I hear another voice raised in the crowd. This one has tears rolling down her cheeks. Excuse me for just a minute. I hear what you say. But I was in a mob just like this one. They caught me. I didn't have anything on but a night robe. And I had gone and gotten in a bed with a man that I wasn't married to. And they busted open the door and there I was in bed with him. And they drug me out of the house into a crowd of people. A mass of humanity just like this one. And they were shouting and they were crying. Stoner, the adulterer. Stoner, the heathen. Killer. People in the room this morning, you've heard that voice so many times. I've sinned and I've fallen and I've messed up and I've done this and I've used that and I've smoked that and I've looked at this and I've said those words. But I'm telling you, there is a voice that cries louder than the voice of condemnation. There's a word that says that man riding on the donkey to whoever is in him. There is now therefore no condemnation. There is no condemnation. The voice of the accuser is silenced when that man comes riding into your house. They drug me out into a crowd just like this one. But sir, sir, that man riding on the donkey, he got down and he got into the dirt. And he took his finger and he began to write in the dirt. I don't know what he said. But when he looked around the crowd who was ready to kill me, ready to stone me, I heard him say these words. Whichever ones of you haven't sinned, y'all go ahead and pick up and throw the first rock. Whichever one of you is perfect sitting in the room right now. You can talk about the preacher. You can talk about the singer. You can talk about the choir. You can talk about the clothes. You can talk about their hair. But you better make sure that everything in your house is straightened up first. Don't be throwing rocks if you live in a glass house. People see what you do too. He said, whichever one of you is without sin, you go right ahead and cast the first stone. And she said, one by one by one, the crowd and the mass disappeared. And it was just me. And that man riding on the donkey. He asked me the question, where's your accusers? And in that moment, right there, he said, get up, go on, and sin no more. 